The iPhone XS is $999. Unless you're stuck in the Apple ecosystem with FaceTime, iMessage, and iCloud, you can do so much better for the same price or even less if you're willing to go Android. In this video, we're gonna talk about two such options. Let's get to it. This video is brought to you by the geniuses at Wix. Before we get into it, I should say that for this video, I am considering the XS, not the XS Max. Because as we showed you in a previous video, the Max does almost nothing to take advantage of its larger display to justify the higher price tag. It is our recommendation that if you're going to get a XS, save the money and get the smaller version. The bigger version's just not worth it. So as such, we're not going to talk about the XS Max in this video. Let's start with phones that cost around $1,000. The first phone that comes to mind that meets and in most cases exceeds the capabilities of the XS is the Galaxy Note 9. With the Note 9, you get a bigger 6.4 inch notchless Super AMOLED screen that is both brighter and more vivid than the XS. Not only that, but the Note 9 has a pixel density above 500 thanks to its 1440 by 2960 display resolution versus the 458 PPI found on the XS's 1242 by 2688 screen. The Note 9 Snapdragon 845 keeps up and in some cases beats the XS. The Note 9 is a fantastic productivity tool that lets you take notes, sign documents, and even multitask like a boss thanks to split screen multitasking and even pop up view that lets you window any app and place it on top of another. The XS does nothing except for picture in picture in some cases to allow you to do two things at once and multitask. We could go on and on about why the Note 9 is a better way to spend $1,000. With the exception of Apple diehards, there's just no question that the Note 9 is better in almost every way. Oh, and it comes with a fast charger in the box that allows the Note 9 to go from 0 to 100 in about 100 minutes, whereas the XS of course comes with a slow charger in the box and it takes almost twice as long to charge fully. Let's talk about another phone that is better in most ways comparable to the XS, and that's the OnePlus 6, which is over $470 cheaper than the XS. And yet, it's faster by most measures, especially keeping apps in memory. Let me just emphasize that the OnePlus 6 is almost half the price of the iPhone XS. Half the price. Half the cost. The OnePlus 6 might not have as good of a camera as the XS, we'll admit that, but the camera is far improved from previous OnePlus phones, and we think that the 6 keeps up with many flagships. With the OnePlus 6, you get a smaller notch, a screen that is 9% bigger, double the RAM, a significantly bigger battery, plus you get one of the most customizable and smooth versions of Android ever. Before we conclude this video, let me tell you more about our sponsor, Wix. If you want to make an online store, blog, or other website with no coding knowledge, Wix offers an amazing portfolio of tools that lets you design something that is right for you. And it's all drag and drop, or pick from one of their many templates. You can learn more in the description below. To wrap things up, we don't think that the iPhone XS is worth it, and you have much better options at this price point or even below. So unless you're tied to the Apple ecosystem, consider other options because there are better ones out there than the iPhone XS. Thanks for watching, that's it for now.